and blossoms flowered mid the snows upon a winter night was born the child the christmas rose the king of love and light the angels sang the shepherds sang the grateful stars their exaltation voiced oh come let us adore oh come let us adore him oh come Again the heart with rapture glows to greet the holy night that gave the world its Christmas rose, the king of love and light. Let every voice acclaim his name, the grateful chorus From paradise to earth he came, that we with him might dwell. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. adore him ah, adore him Christ the Lord oh come oh come oh come let us adore
Welcome to worship at the Lutheran Church of the Holy Spirit. I am Pastor Mark Wimmer, serving as Senior Interim Pastor. I welcome you all to this Christmas Eve service, especially those who are welcoming or worshiping with us on Zoom. I hope you find the service meaningful and that the spirit of the peace and blessings of the, of the day, of Christmas Eve, will be with you tonight. As far as announcements, I have very few except to say that we have more services following this one here today. <clears throat> There's a 5 o'clock, a 7.30, and a 10, and you're welcome to come back if you wish. I'm going to ask the microphone folks if you can just turn me down a little bit <clears throat> and then send that setting to my wife. <laughs> welcome to our service. Merry Christmas. I invite you to stand as you are able for the proclamation of the birth of Christ. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them has light shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests on his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. We come with the angels to proclaim glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace. We come in wonder and awe. With Mary and Joseph, we are amazed that a baby boy is born to save us. Today, Christ is born for you. O come, let us adore him, Christ the newborn King. <clears throat> <clears throat>
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Holy One, open our hearts to receive the true gift of Christmas. May the stillness of your peace wash over us. May we encounter hope born anew. We are here waiting for you, ready to receive your gift of love. Be with us now as we come and adore the newborn child. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from Titus. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly. While we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Would you please stand? The good news from Luke, <clears throat> the second chapter. Open our hearts, Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was the governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. 
And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the guest house. Now in that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom God favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see these things that have taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. And When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about the child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. And Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told them. O holy child of Bethlehem, be born in us today. I must add a personal note before I start my sermon. You all sing good. It, it sounds wonderful up here. It's just tremendous. Thank you all for your participation. Would you join me in prayer, please? Lord God, our way, our life, our light, keep us forever faithful, trusting solely in your word. Amen. I suspect that most all of us have places in our lives that are special places, that hold an equally special place in our hearts. Perhaps they represent a pleasant past time where a life-changing event took place, or it's a special place in its own right. It's a place that you may not see often, but one, if possible, you must see from time to time. I have such a place in my life. I have several, but this one in particular. I know it as Henry's Woods. You might know it as Jacobsburg State Park. Any nodding heads? Okay. Perhaps some of you are familiar with the park. It lies about 20 miles northeast of here and is home to some of the most beautiful landscapes I have ever seen. It is steeped in history as it was the location for the Henry Firearms Company, who were the manufacturers of the Pennsylvania or Kentucky Long Rifle. And when I was in my early teens, it was also the delivery area of my paper route, which in a sense surrounded the woods itself. Many were the times I traveled through the woods to get to the respective ends of my paper route, and having the place all to myself, I would oft times linger by the creek to hone my skills at skipping stones. Over the years, I have introduced my children to the woods and to the skill of stone skipping. And now I have the pleasure of introducing my grandchildren to the woods. I can assure you there are still times in my life when I need to see 
Henry's Woods. God's angels seem to speak to me there. Like those places in our lives that we just need to see from time to time, so too is Christmas, a place we need to see, to feel, and to experience. There is a well-known Christmas song first introduced in the 1966 Broadway musical MAME, and that was when Angela Lansbury first sang we need a little Christmas. It was later recorded and made famous by Johnny Mathis, still played today. I suspect that all of you know this song and are probably familiar with at least how it starts. Haul out the holly, put up the tree before my spirit falls again, fill up the stockings and so on and so forth. There is, however, a verse later in the song that we likely do not remember as well as the first verse. And it goes like this. For I've grown a little leaner. Maybe. Grown a little colder, grown a little sadder, grown a little older. And I need a little angel sitting on my shoulder. Need a little Christmas now. a little angel sitting on my shoulder. Perhaps you are here today. Perhaps all of us are here because we need a little Christmas. There is something we need to see. Something we need to feel. Something we need to hear. Why else would so many people make a special point to make their way to this place at this time? I do not know all of your circumstances in life. If it is like mine, it has had its share of difficulties over the year. If there is one thing that I have discovered and come to appreciate in the fullness of life, that it does not travel in a straight line. And it does not always travel upwards and to the right like you're plotting it on a graph. More likely, it has been all over the place. Positive, negative, grateful, cranky, up, down, over, out, back, and forth. We need a little Christmas. We need to hear a familiar gospel text that begins, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus. We need to hear again the promise of God with us in and through the birth of Jesus. We need to hear this promise again. And this need moves me to bring for your consideration more music of Christmas. This one, a hymn. And it's entitled, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. This hymn has always spoken to me because it tells of wondrous heavenly beings and all their glory delivering a message of Jesus' birth in quiet and dulcet tones. And the hymn is keyed in such a way as to promote peace and wonder, majesty and blessed quietness all at the same time. The verses of this hymn describe life not in some morbid or somber tones, but in words that are real and honest and in ways that we can understand and have experienced. There are words that reflect our need, our need to be here, to experience the wonder, the glory, and the familiarity of Christmas. We come because we need this place. We need to feel this experience again. Like I from time to time need to see Henry's woods, we need a little Christmas. Perhaps we need a lot. But there is something in this hymn that describes our need perfectly. 
the words of verse 1. It came upon the midnight clear, that glorious song of old, from angels bending near the earth to touch their harps of gold. Peace on the earth, good will to all from heaven's all gracious king. The world in solemn stillness lay to hear the angels sing. There it is. We need to hear the angels sing. And verse 3 captures the human condition. And you beneath life's heavy load, whose forms are bending low, who toil along the climbing way with painful steps and slow, look now, for glad and golden hours come swiftly on the wing. Oh, rest beside the weary road and hear the angels sing. Yes, today, the angels sing. We hear them sing. Jesus is born. God's love lives among us. God's presence is with us. The angels' message is true. May this message lift you. May this message comfort you. May this message direct you. We are here because we need to be in this place to hear the angels sing. Amen.
please rise and join me in our Christmas affirmation. I believe in God, whose light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never smother it. I believe that on a night like this in Bethlehem, there was born a Savior who is Christ the Lord. I believe in the Word who has become incarnate, our very flesh and blood, yet full of grace and truth. I believe in the blessed appearing of the salvation of our God, that is, for the happiness of all people. I believe in his name as wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his rule and of his unique peace, there will be no end. The zeal of the God of hosts will do this. This surely I believe. Trusting in God's news of great joy for all people, we offer our prayers for ourselves, our neighbors, and the world God loves. The shepherds sing, Jesus Christ is born. Let your church throughout the world also proclaim this good news over the hills and everywhere. O oh Lord, unite the voices of all your faithful people in songs of praise and rejoicing. Christmas child, bring in your light and love. Heaven and nature sings joy to the world. Lord Jesus, give respite to flocks, fields, and those who tend them. Come near to us in the beauty of the nighttime, the shining of the stars, and the hush of the world at rest. May our wonder at your creation arouse in us care for all the earth. Christmas child, Bring in your light and love. The angels are singing peace on earth. Come quickly, Jesus, to still the strife of this world. Hush the noise of war and violence. Inspire the leaders of nations to seek lasting peace and sustain provision for all in their care. Christmas child, bring in your light and your love. Mary is singing melodies of comfort to her newborn child. Bring rest and assurance, reassurance to those facing struggles tonight. Shelter travelers and those without homes. Console those who lie awake during, due to pain or anxiety. Heal those who are sick or hurting. Christmas child, bring in your light and your love. Love sings throughout the sound of a new baby's cry. Bless new parents and expectant parents. Comfort those who long for children, especially those running out of hope or options. Surround families of every shape and size with your love and care. Christmas child, bring in your light and your love. The heavenly chorus sings glory to God in the highest. We give you thanks for all the saints who have proclaimed your glory in word and deed. May we join them tonight in joyful praise around your eternal throne. Christmas child, bring in your light and your love. Abide with us, O God, in our peace, and receive our prayers according to your abundant grace. Amen. The angel sang to the shepherds, Glory to God in the highest heavens and peace to God's people on earth. Let us greet one another with this heaven-sent peace. The peace of the Lord be with you always. So with you. As we gather this afternoon to welcome the Christ child, we give thanks to God for that most heavenly gifts and for our many blessings. If you have gathered today and brought offerings with you, there are plates in the back where you may leave those. 
and we are always thankful for the many ways you support the ministry of this congregation, of the church, and of the world. We'll now enjoy our musical offering. Just a few words of instruction with so many visitors with us this evening. If you prefer not to come forward for communion, there are communion kits on the usher stand and you're welcome uh, to one of those and you can commune in your seats. Otherwise, please come forward at the direction of the ushers. There are communion glasses that you can pick up on your way up. Receive the bread and the wine. If you choose, you can spend a few moments at the communion rail in prayer or just return to your seats. There are receptacles for the empty glasses at the front of each of the side aisles. Please rise.
May the God of holy nights be with you. And also with you. People of God, this is the night God transformed our lives. This is the night we offer our hearts to God. Children of Bethlehem, lift your voices in joy to God. Our voices join with all who celebrate the birth this night. God of abundance, receive and bless these gifts we have offered. Join our hearts with the song of the angels and gather us at your table of celebration. Strengthen us to share with all the world the abundance of your grace upon grace, poured out in Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. The night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. On this night, when we sing of the baby in the manger, as the shadow of the cross is cast by the stars, we proclaim that mystery called incarnation. Christ is our light, and we will join the angels in singing the good news. Christ is our life, and we will join the disciples in telling the story. Christ is our promise, and we wait for the joy of his return. And when all time and history become silence, we will be gathered with our sisters and brothers from every corner and moment of every universe to join the angel choirs and forever singing your praises as we dance to the table of wonder and grace, God and community, holy and one. Amen. God and community, holy and one, touch us again with your wonder, even as we pray, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Come to the table of peace. For our Zoom worshipers and those choosing to remain seated, this is the body of Christ given for you. And this is the blood of Christ shed for you. Thank you. 
let us pray. God, our Redeemer, you have fed us at this table with gifts of grace, truth, and life. As you have gathered us in joy, send us forth as messengers of your peace. Make us shine with the good news of your glory, born to us in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who sent the Holy Spirit to Mary, proclaimed joy through the angels, sent the shepherds with good news, and led the Magi by a star, bless you this day through the Word made flesh. Amen. Amen. to the world the Lord has come we have celebrated this wonderful gift of God this day as we go may we share the good news with all we meet go in peace to love and serve the Lord glory, glory to God, God in the highest.